Good morning, mighty men and women of God. Today is Monday, July 20th of 2020. Sometimes long distance races become monotonous and even boring. So this morning, I want to encourage all of us to change the way we look at this race that we are running in the Lord. Even though the goal is to get to the finish line, this race offers benefits along the way as well as the ultimate prize of finishing strong. But it's not just about finishing the race. It is all about how we run the race and how we touch the lives of those around us as we run. So today, this morning's prayer reminds us that continuing to run the race with purpose will be met with a glorious prize. Father, let us rejoice in you always. For we are the circumcision who worship you in the Spirit, rejoice in Jesus Christ, and have no confidence in our own flesh. Of those things we once were and once had, these things we have counted as loss for Christ. And what's more, we consider everything a loss compared to the surpassing greatness of knowing Christ Jesus our Lord, for whose sake we have lost all things. Those things are now rubbish, that we may gain Christ. Our righteousness is not from keeping the law, but through faith in Jesus the Messiah. Father, we want to know Christ and experience the mighty power that raised him from the dead. We want to suffer with him, sharing in his death, so that we will experience the resurrection from the dead. We have not already achieved these things, nor have we reached perfection. So we press on to possess that perfection for which Jesus first possessed us. One thing we will do, Father, forgetting the past and looking forward to what lies ahead, we press on to reach the end of the race and receive the heavenly prize for which you, Father, through Jesus, is calling us. Father, may others pattern their lives after ours and learn from those who follow our example. For many live as enemies of you, their destiny being destruction because their mind is on earthly things. But our citizenship is in heaven, and we eagerly await our Savior, Jesus, the Messiah, who, through your power, will transform our lowly bodies so that we will be like him. May we rejoice in you, Father, not being anxious, but seeking you in everything with thanksgiving. Let your peace, which exceeds all that we can understand, guard our hearts and minds as we live in Christ Jesus. And it's in the name of Jesus we pray this morning. Amen. This is Jeff with this morning's prayer, praying that you have a great and God-filled day today. Shalom.